Devin, you okay? Just trying to find my baseline, bro. Ah, oh, stressful day of the ER. The trauma surgery's a cinch. It's coming home that's stressful. Being home with the baby has made Ellie a little stir-crazy. Must be going around. When I walk through that door, she makes up for 12 hours of not talking to another adult in about 12 minutes. Wish me luck. Good luck. Hi, honey. How was work? I'm so glad you're home. I've been dying to talk. Remember how I've been trying to keep track of Claire's sleep schedule? Well, I finally crunched some numbers. At first, I couldn't find the circadian cycle. But then I applied some basic biostatistics. Voila. Isn't that incredible? Oh, wait to see the data that I gathered during dummy time. And here is a chart of Clara's new vocal sounds. Trust me, you can go a little loony with somebody babbling in your ear all day long. <laughs> the problem is, I only have one test subject, so in order to control my experiment, we're gonna have to have a second baby. Joking. Speaking of computer modeling, whatever happened to my dad's laptop? Devin? Devin, are you listening to me? Huh? Yeah, computers. Brain science, totally with you. Good. Because I'm starting to think that my dad left me that computer for a reason. Maybe his research is just the diversion that I need right now. Devin, I want that computer back. I wonder what Casey's team is up to. Who cares? Back in the side of the cell, this extraction is top priority. It's the problem. Hey, Devin, what's going on, buddy? Chuck, you need to talk. Why are you whispering? It's clear sleeping. And I don't want Ellie to hear. Can this wait till I'm home? Chuck, Ellie wants your dad's laptop. She thinks he gave it to her for a reason. No, Devin, listen to me and listen to me very carefully. She cannot have the laptop. The laptop is filled with all kinds of dangerous spy stuff, which is probably why it's buried deep beneath Langley right now. That's great, but she gave the computer to me. What am I supposed to tell her? I don't know. Tell her you lost it. Better yet, better yet, tell her you, you brought it to the buy more to get it fixed. She will assume Jeff and Lester lost it. Good cover story, bro. Hey, that's why you called the bro, huh? Wait, I'm seeing a square? Close. Squiggly lines. Excuse me. Damn it, lady! Can't you see that you're ruining his concentration? Listen, I'm just here to get my computer and then you two can go back to your little game. Game? I will have you know, Eleanor, that our friend Jeffrey here is a clairvoyant. Read her thoughts, Jeffrey. She hates us. She thinks we're pathetic. She doesn't believe in ESP. That's really good. Can I have my computer? Fine. Where's your claim stub? I don't know. Devin dropped it off. No claim stub, no computer. Mush. Okay, uh, you guys just, you don't understand. There's, there's something really important on that laptop. Something private. Go on. Devin and I, we made a video when we were in med school. Um, I just hate for it to fall into the wrong hands. Jeffrey, clear our schedule. Ma'am, we're gonna find that laptop if it's the last thing we do. Mm-hmm.